coronavirus is a hoax that nobody could have predicted. The possibility of a pandemic has been predicted for years. And Trump was warned by a handful of professionals. Bill Gates warned him in a private meeting before he became president, as well as in a meeting after he became president. Obama's transition team warned him to be prepared for this, as did Trump's own administration. Trump claims he never read the memo. Thousands of criminals were entering America at the southern border. Historically, people have crossed the southern border in an attempt to seek asylum in the U.S. Trump changed the law to make it a felony to cross the U.S. southern border without papers, when previously it was a misdemeanor. In an attempt to deter asylum seekers, Trump justified taking away their children at the border since the parents were now considered felons. In many cases, the children's whereabouts were not recorded, so uniting them with their parents was impossible. Most of the children were left with, without adequate supervision and this allowed them to be mentally, physically, and sexually abused. Seven children died in Trump's custody, whereas no children had died in the previous decade. The asylum seekers are mostly from nations that our country helped destabilize during the Cold War. The middle class will get tax breaks. Trump gave a huge tax break to the wealthiest Americans using this debunked trickle-down economics theory. This way, he was able to legally give colossal tax breaks to his supporters and donors. He's now created the largest wealth gap in the history of our nation. Scores of Americans have food insecurities, and the 50 richest Americans are worth as much as the poorest 165 million families, according to Bloomberg. Mail-in voting fraud is rampant in the United States. Voter fraud by mail in the United States is virtually non-existent. Some states have been already doing this for years. In fact, Trump has mailed his own votes in in the past. Trump's own FBI director sees no evidence of national mail voting fraud. When Trump mentioned ballots being found all over, he was not being honest with the American people. Trump promised to clean the swamp. Trump not only didn't clean the swamp of corruption in America, he brought in his own con men and criminals to work for him. In all, 14 of Trump's aides, donors, and advisors have been indicted or imprisoned since the day when he promised he would hire only the best. Also, Trump gave cabinet positions to supporters who had no expertise in the area that they would serve. Many were actually opponents of the area they were hired to work. Trump claimed he wanted a Muslim ban to cut off terrorists from entering the country. But he ignored the country that produced the vast majority of 9-11 hijackers. 15 of the 19 hijackers that on September 11, 2001, were Saudi Arabians, yet Saudi Arabia was not on Trump's list. Trump says that the media is fake news. Trump lies so much to the American people that we don't know what to believe. Saying that the media is fake would mean that every single major news outlet in the United States and the entire world is working together in a conspiracy to trick Trump supporters into believing lies, except Fox News. Trump says he's rich. Americans revere wealthy people because the hope is that someday maybe we'll become rich. Trump is $241 million in debt. Trump's businesses have filed for bankruptcy four times. Trump keeps his personal wealth and the presidency separate. Trump promised a firewall between his own businesses and the presidency, and that's what's traditionally done. He broke that promise and has accumulated so far 3,403 conflicts of interest. The conflicts include visits to Trump properties by foreign governments, senators, congresspeople, directing millions of dollars from U.S. taxpayers to his businesses around the globe, and Trump's own blatant promotion of these businesses. Those attempting to hold Trump accountable say they've tracked around two conflicts of interest per day, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. The fact is, Trump spent one of every three days as president visiting one of his luxury resorts, golf courses, or hotels. Trump is honest. According to fact checkers, it took Trump 827 days to top 10,000 false or misleading claims. That would be 12 per day. But on July 9th, just 440 days later, the president crossed the 20,000 mark an average of 23 claims a day over a 14-month period, which included the events leading up to Trump's impeachment trial, the worldwide pandemic that crashed the economy, and the eruption of protests over the death of George Floyd in police custody.
Coronavirus is no big deal, and Trump says he got the standard treatment that everybody gets. Trump and his staff at the White House got the royal treatment when it comes to coronavirus. He had the option of being tested two times a day, as did most of his staff. They also had contract tracing at their disposal. Trump got extremely special treatment that no other person to date has had. He got experimental antibodies treat treatment that wasn't even approved for emergency use. He got remdesivir, which isn't normally given, and he got steroid treatment, which is not normally given. Not one of the 200,000 plus people who have died in the United States from the coronavirus got this treatment. 